a lot of people call me up and they go, after reading our, our virtual brochure, and, and by the way, I'm not just speaking about business, I just happened to think of this. After reading the Price Rubin virtual brochure, which is on our website at pricerubin.com, um, they go, well, Jack, what do you really do? And that unnerves me, I have to say, yes. It unnerves me because I figured, okay, why did I go to the extent of printing this thing? Why did I go to the trouble of thinking it all up? It's like one guy said, hey, you invented all this. Okay, well, I didn't invent it. It's just my brand of marketing. Uh, we call it the Jack Attack, by the way. That's the name of the product, the Jack Attack. Okay, what's the Jack Attack? I wanted to tell you, it's a call. It's calling someone up in the industry, in whatever industry you're in, I don't care if you're selling baseballs or mothballs or uh, cotton balls. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter what you're selling. You get on with a buyer, a distributor, whatever, and you talk to them in such a way that you ingratiate yourself. You bring them into your world. A lot of people have said in the past, when you play, you've got to bring that audience in. I call it capturing the imagination of the audience. Well, that's what you have to do in this jack attack, in this call. You have to call them up. You can't see them. They can't see you unless you're on Skype. I don't suggest that, by the way, for marketing. Skype comes later. We'll talk about that way later into the uh, relationship with the, with the buyer uh, and with an artist. If you're recruiting an artist, it would be the same way. If you want an artist to join your agency, you've got to do it in such a way uh, that they come into your world. You can't go into their world. You have to bring them into your world. You're the seller, remember. You've got to sell yourself. So when you're doing this jack attack, we discussed this a little bit earlier, what you're doing in this call is introducing the artist, in the case of an artist management, introducing the artist to the buyer. What do you do to introduce them? Aha, first of all, you do talk about their attributes, you talk about their accomplishments. They're competent, but you also sneak in what can you do, meaning the management, for them, the buyer. Why should I buy this artist just because they're phenomenal? Phenomenal doesn't cut it anymore. We've talked about this too. Fantastic doesn't cut it. Even unique sometimes doesn't cut it. What cuts it is, why should I buy this artist? Well, you can offer them things. For example, Oftentimes, when I talk to a conductor and I want him to buy a certain artist, I believe in this artist, I want him to buy it, I'll say, well, look, you know, I'll get you a podium exchange with XYZ conductor and XYZ orchestra if you book the artist. There's nothing wrong with this as long as the conductor you're introducing this conductor to is bona fide, qualified, and worthy of going to this other conductor's uh, vicinity, town, orchestra to conduct. I mean, you want to match them perfectly. Pairing them up is key. Like I always say, satisfy both sides of the podium exchange. Otherwise, somebody's not going to be happy. You won't have happy campers. So, when you're talking, getting back to the jack attack, when you talk to an ar uh, uh, artistic administrator or a conductor directly, talk to them directly not just because you're talking to them and not going through another person, but say, look, uh, yes, you know, so-and-so is a wonderful pianist or violinist, but I also have a little treat for you. Bring something in your little, you know, bag of uh, goodies for them. Don't just say they're a great artist. They can go, I have the whole world of great artists to look at, to listen to. Why should I take your great artist, you see? So, uh, what we really do at Price Rubin, answering the question, I'll tell you what we do. We do something that management has never done, and that is direct, triple tiered direct marketing to the buyer. We have three managers on every campaign, and each of them has a job the cold caller, the middle manager, and myself, the manager. I sign off on all deals, all contracts. 
So my name is on it and this is where the buck stops. I take full responsibility. So that's what we do. We entice the buyer and bring them into our world of marketing. And we offer them something besides the phenomenal gifts of the artist. That's what we do.